Hello, if you ask yourself, what is the main component that must be on board to conduct an auto land, automatic landing, full automatic landing, no decision height, uh, the aircraft must be possess and the aircraft must be equipped with certain component to conduct an auto land. What is this main component? Two independent autopilot system, and they must be engaged at the time of the auto land. Two independent eyeless system or eyeless receivers, in instrument landing systems, receiver, localizers, and the glide slope. Radio altimeter, radio altimeter, two independent radio altimeters, and the runway must be equipped with. Uh, uh, eyeless uh, transmissions. Okay, everybody. This is the main component to conduct an auto land. How can you assure that the aircraft is ready for an auto land on the FMA flight mode annunciator? Landing capabilities can be monitored on the FMA flight mode annunciator. Okay, everybody. Landing capabilities. One column from the FMA is associated with the landing capabilities of the aircraft and the decision height and which cat of landing category of landing can be performed okay everybody so as you can see here everybody for an auto land to be conducted the aircraft to which the system is fitted must be equipped with two independent autopilots autopilot one and autopilot two and they must be engaged at a time during the performing of an auto land procedure. So again, the aircraft must be fitted uh, with two independent autopilots and the flight director system capable of following eyeless signal. An auto thrust system also, auto thrust must be engaged at a time of auto land. Two independent radio altimeters two independent radio altimeters to give accurate radio height from the ground information. Eyeless receivers for both the flight crew, localizer antenna and glide slope antenna. Eyeless receivers for both flight crew. And the required eyeless ground installation at the airport where the automatic landing is being conducted. Okay, everybody. Cat 3 double, decision height may be zero. Cat 3 double, decision height may be zero. This indication must be on the FMA in order to assure that you are ready for an auto land. Again, everybody, if you ask yourself what is the main component of the uh, uh, aircraft, what is the main component that must be possessed or must be available on board to conduct an automatic landing, full automatic landing, two autopilot flight director system, auto thrust system, two independent radio altimeters, eyeless receivers for captain and first officer, and the uh, 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 runway must be equipped with the eyeless ground installation on the ground. Okay, everybody, this is the main component that must be available and ready to be used and engaged at the time of an auto land, at the time of an auto land. Okay, everybody. Thank you always for your good listening and always fly safely and maintain your aircraft very safely. From Cairo, Egypt, your host was Haysam Ali and I'm an aviation technical instructor. Please stay tuned for an upcoming session like this and don't hesitate to comment on this video. Thank you and goodbye.